Happy Halloween and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. An application filed earlier this year by Lighthorse Renewable Energy Development is requesting an 81-acre solar farm to be installed in Lexington Park, Maryland as part of the Whitetail Solar Project. H&B Solutions, the consultants for the project, plans to build a 20 megawatt alternating current solar photovoltaic facility that will allow more energy to be dispersed throughout the region by feeding into a commercial electric grid. Dane Bauer, a representative of H&B Solutions, was present to review the project and get feedback on the plan. Bauer told the committee that the solar farm would be an unmanned, remotely operated facility. Nobody will ever have to stay on the site, besides the occasional maintenance employees. Bauer said the application for the project was submitted last month and will take about a year to get approved. Maryland's fifth annual STEM Festival is a celebration of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics that takes place every fall and is held at the St. Mary's County Fairgrounds. A variety of hands-on activities and experiences were offered to build awareness for STEM education and careers. In this picture, Matt Cicero shows California resident Noah Liu how to use a flight simulator at the UAS test site station during the Maryland STEM Festival held Saturday at the St. Mary's County Fairgrounds. The St. Mary's County Museum will be hosting a soil collection ceremony today at 4 p.m. in commemoration of Benjamin Hans, who is the only documented lynching victim in St. Mary's County. During the ceremony, soil will be collected from the spot where Hans died and put in two specially made jars. One jar will travel to Montgomery and become part of the National Memorial for Peace and Justice, while the other will become part of a traveling display to educate citizens, visitors, and students. Catherine Stone, manager of the county's museum division, stated, It is said soil holds the memories of the things that happened upon it. By collecting the soil at the spot where this act happened and placing it in a memorial, we acknowledge and never forget that this did indeed occur. This ceremony will be hold, held at Port of Leonardtown Winery Park, near where Hans died in 1887. According to the 2018 Blood Lead Surveillance Report released by Maryland's Department of the Environment, kids in the state with elevated levels of lead decreased nearly 15%. Ben Grumbles, Secretary of Maryland Department of the Environment, said in a release, Lead has no boundaries, but we are making real progress in protecting children from poisoning. Starting July 1, 2020, children with lead levels 5 micrograms per deciliter or more will receive case management. Jeff Walker, St. Mary's Public School System's Assistant Superintendent of Support Services, said, Basically, what we do is try to eliminate any source of lead that may might remain in our building. Friday night's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Potomac Division battle at Leonardtown was no different from what's been happening all season long. The Tropicon Braves football team has been battling injuries at key positions. The Braves were playing without starting quarterback Dominic Crampton and lost senior wide receiver Trent Holton and senior lineman Jared Schweitzer throughout the contest. Despite battling injuries, Tropicon was able to prevail over Leonardtown and earn a 34-16 road win. Braves head coach Anthony Lasani said, We suffered some key injuries, which kind of slowed us down a little bit. But all in all, it was a good win. On Monday night, in a Volleyball Washington Catholic Athletic Conference tournament play-in match, the Knights, although a younger team under head coach Delwyn Harris, were able to use strong starts in all three sets to coast to a sweep with a 25-15, 25-10, and 25-8 final score. With the straight sets win, St. Mary's Riken was slated to travel to play at St. John's College High School of Washington, D.C. on Tuesday evening. Harris said, We looked good tonight for the team that we were playing against, which was a young squad. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. Don't forget to be safe, and for more details, visit somdnews.com. That's what we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. Signing off.